Can love is fitri. It's already embedded within the fitra. Can love is essential in every major and minor aspect of our survival and living. Whether it be towards parents, whether it be towards siblings, whether it be towards friends and colleagues, whether it be towards society at large, whether it be towards the ummah or humanity. That care and love is the essence of harmony amongst humanity at large. That needs to be grown. See, in our families, what bonds us? Is it justice or is it care and love? Huh? Care and love, not justice. If you were to try to live by the rules of justice in your house, you'll kill each other. Same with the society. Same with rather the society needs more. What? Can love them? Then the family. Why? Okay, that's one way. Another way, another point. Yeah, exactly, because the the family, the care and love is natural. But the society, the care and love is what? It's natural, but it's not as heavy or deep as the care towards your own family. Is that clear? So the care, the rules and regulations of care and love towards the society has to be more than the care and love towards the family. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't speak much about family laws and regulations because they, they, they are, they are already with what? Care and love. But he spoke a lot about social justice and they are all within care and love because that is naturally not as deep Generally. One of the mistakes we make when we speak about Islam to media, we always speak about the justice of Islam. Even those who speak about justice of Islam in a comprehensive manner. But we speak about the justice of Islam. But we do not speak about the care and love and mercy of Islam. That should come first. And the justice comes as an exception. The care and love should come first, and justice should come as an exception. I.e., when the wrong is done, there is what? Justice. justice. When the wrong is done, if the wrong is done, there is what? Islam gives what? Justice. justice. But before that, there is what? Care, love, and mercy. Is that clear? So justice is exceptional. It's not the general rule. The general rule is what? Care and love and mercy. And grace. Is that clear? That mindset we need to revive again. Because that mindset, yes, some groups have taken it in terms of, not in principle, but in terms of application they've applied it wrong, that mindset. But there are others who have the wrong mindset, they have justice first and care and love as a what? Exception. And then they apply, when it comes to application, there is no care and love and mercy, there is no even justice. There's wrath. Rather there's injustice and oppression. In terms of application. Is that clear? So we have to get the principle correct. We have to get the mindset correct. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ <coughs> Yeah? Alhamdulillah alamin ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So that mercy comes. My wrath overpowers my, my sorry, my mercy overpowers my wrath. I made zulm haram upon myself. Out of mercy. <clears throat> By default, Allah doesn't oppress. So him making a haram is out of mercy, not out of justice. Um, he wrote in his uh, book, which he has kept in the arsh, that my, it's a legislation, Allah legislated for himself. Not out of justice, but out of what? Mercy. 
that my, right, my mercy overpowers my wrath. Is that clear? So we represent Allah, His being, His reality. And thereby to humanity, we need to represent that general principle that the mercy overpowers the wrath. That the general principle is mercy, care and love, justice is exceptional. How many times amongst the Muslims Allah says to forgive and overlook, right? That is say what? Execute your justice? No. Same with humanity. Uh, to make this point a bit more clear, when the Muslims are weak, when the Muslims are weak, or when the oppressed people are weak, and if they repel the harm, there will be more harm. Allah says to them to be what? Allah says to the people to be what? Patient. Patient outwardly, but inwardly to make du'as. And outwardly not to challenge directly, but to challenge indirectly. Challenge or repel the harm, not directly, but indirectly. He never says not to do anything. But to do, but don't bring more harm on yourself. Repel the harm, but don't bring more harm. So there's the inner taking the means inwardly by making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Outwardly, you don't directly challenge the harm by which you, it, you, you provoke more harm. Why does Allah command that legislation? He commands that commandment. Why? Mercy to us who? Mercy to us who? Oppressed. Mercy to us the? Oppressed. Because if Allah legislates to say what? Direct. Challenge them direct. Then who will be oppressed more? The oppressed will be harmed more. So Allah is being merciful to us the oppressed, the weak. He's being merciful to them. Is that clear? And he's also being merciful to the oppressor. How? He's given them the time and the opportunity to what? To repent and stop the ways. Is that clear? After that, either these oppressed group of people, if they don't achieve, or if they don't achieve justice, they will, Allah will strengthen these oppressed people and then they will achieve justice and then mercy and harmony. Or Allah will destroy the oppressors completely by himself. But whilst these people who are oppressed are trying to attain justice and then mercy and harmony, does Allah tell them always to be direct in action or take it slowly, overlook, be patient, forgive if you can. If you can't, then yes, take them into account. Yes or no? Why? He can't say every time you're able to, able to Repel the harm, directly repel it. But he doesn't. He always talks about taking the merciful way, taking the caring way, taking the loving option. Even when you have the ability. And then when you are on top, when you have overcome, he says forgive them, overlook them, have mercy on them. Does he say that or not? So all this throughout the journey you see, that the original ruling and principle is what? Care, mercy and love. 